I'm so happy to see you. It's a good day for a good day. Each week we will be looking at what the Bible has to say about different emotions we feel. Today, we will be talking about what to do when we feel angry. Getting angry is normal, but it's how you act and what you do when you're angry that matters. Instead of reacting in a way that will be hurtful towards yourself and others, you want to obey God's word that tells you to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. All right, friends, you know what time it is. It's worship time, so stand up on your feet and let's give God our best praise.
has gone your way today. Let's get to our consultants and see what they think before we decide how you need to deal with your feels. Scram, what do you think? Yeah, come on. Easy stuff. You have a right to be angry. Your mom told you not to watch your favorite videos? Talking about being old school. If I was you, I would definitely give her a piece of your mind, and loudly. And then I would slam my door with the force of a thousand sons. And your brother, I say you get him back. Make sure he pays for giving you so much trouble. Who does he think he is taking your phone and snapping so many photos? And tonight, you should definitely throw the biggest fit of all time. I'm talking yell, scream, go bananas. You shouldn't have to eat that lizard and grizzly bear stuff. It sounds disgusting. 
You feel angry, then you do something about it. Yell, scream, slam that door, punch the wall, plot revenge, just make sure that you get your point across. Send a message. Okay, well, that's advice. Super Dan, what do you think? Well, Caller, I appreciate your honesty. We all feel angry at times, that's normal. But how we respond and react to that anger is of the utmost importance. Our words and actions can either help others or hurt others. If you feel mad and respond in anger, you could do or say some things that you would regret and that you can't take back. The Bible tells us to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Instead of letting anger take over, it's important that you ask God to help you be self-controlled. That way you don't end up hurting yourself or anyone else with your words or your actions. And just remember, the best way to deal with the feels is to pray and ask God to fill you with His Spirit so that you can practice love, patience, and self-control. Well, you heard it, folks. Two very different opinions. So how would you deal with the feels? If you think our caller should side with Scram, and yell, scream, disrespect, plot revenge, then I want you to put your fist in your hand like this. If you agree with Super Dan and you think that our caller should ask God to help them be more forgiving and self-controlled, then I want you to make prayer hands like this. Hmm, looks like the majority of our viewers are in agreement with Super Dan on this one. How do we deal with the feels? When you feel angry, remember, you can go to God and ask Him to fill you with His Spirit and to help you be forgiving and self-controlled. Your words and actions can do a lot of damage. So it's important to follow God's Word that tells us to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. I'm Camille O'Neill, and this is Deal With The Feels. I'll see you next week. Hey y'all, Mr. Ethan here, and I'm back again to talk to you about our emotions. It's okay and it's normal to have emotions, both good and bad, but it's what we do with them and how we respond to them that matters the most. And this week, we're talking about what to do when we feel angry. Now, unless you're a unicorn or a snowman, you've probably gotten angry before, but what is the right way to respond and act when we do get angry? Because we all know it's gonna happen. The Bible says not to let the sun go down on your anger. So we see that settling the issue and examining our own heart in the matter is super important. The Bible also says to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. This is way easier said than done though. I can remember when I was a kid and my older brother would call me a name or my younger sister would take one of my favorite toys. I always wanted to react right away and do something mean in return. But the Bible tells us to respond in love and to not react. It's hard, I know, but it can be done. The cool part is that Jesus helps us even with things like this. He cares about the moments when we're angry. It's oftentimes in our mistakes that Jesus meets us and shows us how to do things the right way. Remember how we've talked about when we draw near to Jesus, one of the things that he gives us is joy and happiness, even when life gets tough? Well, the same goes for self-control. When we draw near to Jesus, he gives us self-control in the moments where we wanna throw a fit or raise our voice or say a mean thing to maybe a sibling or a friend. The Bible says in Luke 6:31, as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for today and for all that you've given us. Thank you for how much you love us and I pray that you would help us walk in self-control this week and that we would be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to anger. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.